What's up? Yo. Mm. What are you doing? I was reading what, news. You were reading news? What that looked like some weird shit. What were you doing? Mm, drudge Report. Oh, whatever. Huh. Love the Drudge Report. Oh, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for another edition of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan Farach. And we are here to talk about some crazy shit that's been going down. If you guys have not been following Wall Street, which I'm sure all you guys follow Wall Street on a regular basis, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, serious acquisitions happening. First of all, AT&T wants to acquire Time Warner. Pretty sure that's dead in the water. You think it's dead in the water? Well, the Department of Justice is saying that yeah, well, it will not allow that to happen. Which, 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 which goes into another discussion about some really fucked up, uh, you know, backwards like political reasons for that. I heard that the the DOJ got involved because the Trump campaign doesn't want it to happen because Time Warner owns CNN and they don't want AT and T to buy Time Warner unless AT and T agrees to unload CNN. Right, there's nothing political because the the way that Fox is structuring their deal is if they end up selling to Disney, they're not going to include Fox Sports and they're not going to include Fox News because they don't want to have because Disney owns obviously um, ABC News yes. and they also own ESPN. Yes. Right. So we can't say that it's political because on the other side, Fox is actively trying to avoid antitrust lawsuits. Okay, but but okay, but the, why? What is so antitrust about AT and T acquiring Time Warner? I don't. Know, I have to see who who Time who AT and T owns. Who AT and T owns. owns? Yeah. Here's what Time Warner owns. First of all, it's not Time Warner Cable, which I thought that's what it was at first because Time Warner Cable is huge. It's no different than Uverse, which is AT&T and Comcast. But Time Warner sold their Time Warner Cable division, I think it was two years ago I saw mm -hmm. in doing my research. What Time Warner owns is they own Warner Brothers, which, of course, is DC Comics, Vertigo, right. Bad Magazine, which affects our business. But they also own uh, Turner Broadcasting, which is CNN, TNT, TBS, Cartoon Network. The music, man. I can't I can't hear anything Tr you're True saying. TV. The what? The music. What? Uh, I can't hear you. Oh. Uh, uh, at Suzy Feck, can you turn Justin Timberlake off? Juan can't focus because all he's hearing is in sync right now. And it's he's fantastic. <laughs> yes. We play music videos he here in the store. He's super underrated. I love Justin Timberlake. He's not underrated at all. What are you talking about? He's super famous. That makes no sense. Famous and underrated are different things. He's you can not, be famous and underrated. He's not underrated at all. Musically, he, he's underrated. He's loved by millions of people. Yeah, but they don't think of him as a musical talent. They just think of him as a pop star. He, who's who? Who, you, who? I don't know. People I talk to. I'm not setting up a straw man here. I believe that. Oh, whatever. I, I I I fully disagree with you. Anyways, Time Warner, all right, does not own Time Warner Cable, but they but they own Turner Broadcasting Network, which is CNN, TBS, TNT, Cartoon Network, True TV. Okay, they. What happened? What are, what are you doing? I'm listening. Warner Brothers, which is uh, Warner Brothers movies, DC Comics, Vertigo, Mad Magazine, um, and uh, I think that's it. But that's a lot of shit right there. That is a lot. And that affects our business, too. If AT&T buys Warner Brothers and DC Comics... There has to be a reason why there, this would be an antitrust. No. there's uh, f From what I have seen and read, this is politically motivated and has all to do with CNN. Oh, they also own HBO and Cinemax. Time Warner does. So as Juan is doing his diligent... Um, D diligent research here um, as I said earlier my name is Stephen Corka um, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm here at Corka Comics we're here in the Miami location on 107th and 8th Street um, we play music videos here it's a kind of a new feature we have I kind of enjoy it thoroughly right now Girlfriend by NSYNC is playing it was so good that Wonski here was distracted at Susie Fett's over in the corner somewhere she's wearing glow in the dark alien overalls today you can catch her at Susie with a Z S-U-Z 
double E underscore FET. And, okay. Uh, you back? Okay. Yeah. So AT&T is the biggest U.S. satellite TV provider. Yeah, for their U-verse. Right. So they're the biggest U.S. satellite. So by buying Time Warner, they're going to get cable networks like TNT and CNN. Yes. They can then withhold their programming from Comcast or co- other competitors. That's how they break antitrust. There's no fucking It's completely way. relevant. There's no way. Completely relevant. There's no way that AT&T would withhold CNN from Comcast. Just like there's no way that Disney would withhold their Marvel shows from Netflix. That's different. Same thing. No way, dude. Yes, no. a, if AT and T is the biggest cable provi- All right, so wait, provider, wait, 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 wait. All right, so you think AT and T? Do you think this deal is not going to go through? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to go through either. But for a hypothetical bullshit things, let's talk about this. Let's say it does go through. What's that mean for DC? Anything? Does do things change? I don't think so. AT and T doesn't give a fuck. They're just business as usual. I think so. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't think AT and T is gonna do. I mean, I mean, UVerse was actually pretty great. That came out of nowhere, right? It came out of nowhere. I mean, we have UVerse here at the store. Yeah. So AT and T yeah. is pretty good at developing their brands, I guess. Um, yeah. Well, let's say this: Warner Brothers has completely fucked up their DC licenses in movies and TV. Not TV. Then they oh, Time Warner owns CW also. Not 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 TV in the sense that the shows are bad, but we're talking about when developing a universe. For the live action movies, yeah, no, 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 no. For like, like even like, um, the Teen Titans is going to be on Titans is going to be on a different channel, and like, and and so that's why you have I when mean, so when you have the crossover with Supergirl and Flash and the Green Arrow, they have to explain it as they're jumping through universes, and because they, they they're not on the same unit, and I think that's a fuck up. We've addressed this before. Unless DC's Grandmaster plan, which this would be amazing if they did this, they never would, was it's them establishing their 52 multiverse. I mean, that'd be, yeah, but I, they're not. They're not that smart. Yeah, they're not that smart. Yeah, that, so, would be, that would be amazing though, wouldn't it? I, I believe that Time Warner, that would be really cool. <laughs> I believe that Time Warner. Like Gotham is uh, yeah, part of that too? Gotham is great. Could man. you imagine if, that, if, 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 if Gotham, Supergirl, is, Flash, Arrow, um, the, 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 the Zack Snyder verse, it, it was yeah. uh, the Christopher Nolan and Batman they had, verse. Like, they had a movie like yeah. Crisis on Infinite Earths and yeah. afterwards there was only one TV show. And it, but, but, but <laughs> <laughs> on one channel. But, but still, just like, can you yeah. imagine like all those, even the Batman 66 right, stuff, right. That'd be just, great. just mix it all together, really yeah. fuck with people. And they have Crisis on Infinite Earths and done. Yeah. Um, but um, I, I mean, I think right now that Warner Brothers is doing so terrible that I think anything would be an improvement. All right. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, well, let's move to the bigger story because this one probably is going to happen, and that's Disney buying 21st Century Fox. All right. I hate it. 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 Like you said, like Wanski said, this does not include Fox News Network. This doesn't include Fox Sports. Right. Um, but it does include 21st Century Fox. Which is why this one's going to happen because it also they're not includes, violating antitrust. It also includes the 10% of Hulu that 21st Century Ox, Fox oh. owns. And Disney owns another like 10% of Hulu also. Okay. Okay. And AT, uh, Time Warner owns another chunk of Hulu as well. You know, but back to Disney here. I hate the fact that they're probably going to buy Fox. I hate why? it. Why? Because I love what's happening with the X-Men right now. And I think Fox is going to do it. I'll tell you what. Rob Liefeld, who people should know, famous artist in the comic verse. Doesn't know how to draw hands. Invented Deadpool. All right. He told Rupert Murdoch, who owns 21st Century Fox, wait till Deadpool 2 comes out and makes a billion dollars before you do this. And I have to agree with him. Deadpool 2 comes out next year. Why would he wait? It'll be worth more. Because. Buy low, you know? No, what I'm trying to say is like, don't sell. What you have is a cash cow. What you have is working. Oh, Rupert Murdoch isn't. He doesn't care. No, he owns Fox, not. Uh, not he owns. Uh, he, owns yeah, Fox, right, he owns 21st yeah. Century Fox. He's the one selling to yeah. Disney. Yeah. And Rob Liefeld and other people are like, wait, just wait. Wait to see what happens here. Deadpool yeah. is going to compete with Avengers, which I agree with that. Yeah, sure. You don't agree with that? I agree with that. Like, like, and so, and Fox finally bought brought rated R 
to comic book movies. Do you really think Disney is going to have a rated R Marvel film? Do you really think they had the balls? Do you think Deadpool would have happened under the Disney umbrella? Maybe. Maybe my ass. Who the f- what, whose dick are you sucking right now? Didn't Disney own Miramax? Does Disney own Miramax? Disney owns Miramax. That's a bad look. Speaking Miramax, of dick sucking. Miramax, <laughs> like, Miramax has a shit ton of rated R movies. Of course Disney does rated R movies, but not their comic book properties. Why wouldn't they? What do you mean, why wouldn't they? That's what that's what Marvel had the Could Max you imagine series Deadpool for? in the Avengers? That'd be great. No, it wouldn't, because he would never. First of all, he'd never say fuck. There would there would be no blood, nothing. Do you think Do you think old man Logan yeah, would have that, happened? That, that, no, it wouldn't have happened because maybe the maybe umbrella? they're not. Because God forbid, Disney has a movie with Wolverine in it where he says fuck. Yeah. So okay. So they're not innovative, but that doesn't mean that something didn't work, make a billion dollars, and now Disney's going to copy it. I'm not saying Disney's going to copy it. I'm I mean, saying, look, I'm Guardians, saying, Guardians saying, of the Galaxy was fantastic. Now they fucking ruined Thor because it is, you know? Listen, all I'm saying is this. If Disney buys Fox, everything we love about the direction the X-Men are going in... I think Disney will continue it. No, no way, dude. In Disney, we no, trust. Dis- no, no, because no, Kevin Feige is going to be like... He's going to be like, listen, we have the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. We can finally integrate them into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And Disney will be like, great. But they can't say fuck. Ike Permuter is going to be like, dude, go make money. It'll be fine, man. Everything Disney touches is gold, man. No, man, no. I think it's bad. I think it's bad. I think competition is good. And I think I, I think if you take Fox out of the running, I mean, Sony already fucking sold their soul, you know, to Disney. All right? So uh, Sony is no longer competition. So what? You got Warner Brothers and you got Disney, and that's it. Wouldn't it be better, though, for for Marvel movies going forward? Like, we can finally get some good villains in these Marvel movies because after Thanos, who's going to be the villain? Now it can be Doctor Doom, dude. No, no, I don't care. I don't care. I you, and you want to know really what? passionate about this. I I I I I I want X Men to stay separate from more. I don't want the mouse to fucking touch it. Yeah, because then it'd be better. You are sucking that Mickey dick hard, dude. Yeah, dude, I love Disney. Oh, there's some moms coming in right now. Oh no. <laughs> Hello. So. Hello. I think you're wrong. I think it'll be fine. You're so nonchalant about this. Uh huh. You're so nonchalant about this. Yeah, it's a bunch of rich people doing rich people's shit. I'm broke. All right, so Fox also owns FX, which would be part of the deal. Don't care. I don't watch TV, remember? What do you mean? Legion's on FX. I, I, I don't watch TV. I watch Netflix. Legion's not on Netflix. You are so nonchalant right now. I'm going to like beat you with the fucking I'm really tired, right man. I'm sick. Like, I've been sick I, for like I, seven I, days. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? Why am I sick? Yes. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Ugh. I was going to try to do an impression, but I'm too sick to do it. The secret word is onslaught. No, that's dumb. That's the word. Onslaught is the secret word. It's a dumb word. Onslaught. It's a terrible comic. Uh, that's the secret word because we said Legion, and I just thought of that. So Yeah, that makes the sense. The secret word is onslaught. Yeah. So, listen, seriously. Um... I think it's a bad idea. I think the mouse getting a hold of the X-Men is horrible. Fantastic Four. I mean, don't get me wrong. I I, I think Fantastic Four and X-Men deserve to be in these Marvel movies. It would be great. But I like the rated R direction that, that Fox has been doing. Oh, my God. You know, what's going on with New Mutants looks good. And... The, the the horror the horror approach. I, I think so, but you don't think that Disney would continue it, man. Deadpool was so successful, and Logan was so successful critically, right? And 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 financially, that like, of course, they're going to continue it, man. Makes me nervous, man. It makes me nervous because you eliminate competition, and when you eliminate competition, your hustle slows down. You know. But the, you have nothing. You have nothing. T- but you, who's you, the competition? Shouldn't be between like you know X Men and Avengers. It should be DC and Marvel. So I don't. I don't think any competition is really being eliminated there. Marvel is just getting back the rights to their properties that they should have never let go of in the first place. I understand that. I, I and I do. But it's just. And I get your point because, you know, X Men has been fantastic. 
uh, for the most De- part. Deadpool was great. Uh, Logan was one of my favorite movies this year. Um, New Moon is an interesting direction that they're going to take. Um, I've heard great things about Legion and good things about The Gifted. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You know, first class, the first and second one weren't that bad. The Apocalypse was horrible. But, you know, first class and, and the other one were great. The transition into... And McAvoy and Fassbender Yeah, McAvoy and Fassbender are fantastic. So, I understand that why you're scared is because we're... we're a long way from X-Men 3 right now. And the thing is, too, Kevin Feige is great. He's a great producer. He's yeah. got a great vision for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But it's his vision and his vision only. And and if you don't like it, then get out. Right. And, and he has no problem starting over and reinventing things, as he did with Spider-Man. You know? Right, which, right. which Spider-Man, for everything that was great about it, we have some things that we don't like about it as well. Yeah. yeah. You know? But I think for the most part, it'll be better than, than not. And you know what, man? I, I really want Fantastic Four, and I want it to be good. And I, well, I, I, I like the last Fantastic Four. I don't feel until Marvel gets that property back. And you know what else? I, I'm also excited because I want to see an awesome villain, and who better to follow up Thanos than Doctor Doom? You know, I, I think Doctor Doom is bigger than the Fantastic Four. And I think uh, I think it'd be great. I don't think Doctor Doom is the answer to Thanos after after Thanos. I or maybe Galactus or who knows. But it's definitely going to be a fa- Fantastic Four has all the best villains. No, it could be Kang the Conqueror, dude. That would be terrible. Why? I don't think enough. Pe- I don't. Well, it could be good, but I don't think enough people would like. Kang it. is Kang is pretty badass. It, but. it depends how you interpret him. Oh. Just because he's got a bad rep in the comics doesn't. And listen. Uh, what's his name? Hickman did a great job with Kang mm. in New Avengers. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, so I, Kang, Kang would be great. Um, oh my god! You know what? They fucked up with Ultron. Ultron was more, Ultron. They've ruined Ultron them. was more powerful than a single movie. Yeah, it, he really was. They did fuck that up. Yeah, we'll see if they do the scrolls. But if they're gonna do the scrolls, let's might as well have Fantastic Four back in it. Can Is, you do a scrolls without Fantastic Four? I don't know if scrolls. I don't know if scrolls uh, counts for that. But you got the Kree also. Yeah. You know, and I mean, there's, there's uh, the the Shi'ar Empire. Although that's more X Men with the Dark yeah. Phoenix and stuff. Yeah, but we'll see, man. I I think it's a it's I think it would be good in in general for the movies. I think it's you know what though the the better these movies do the 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 more I'm scared for the comics, man. Why? You know, we were talking about earlier. What if Marvel just foregoes? They're like, you know, we just don't care about the writer. We just need someone to come in here and put what they see on screen in these comics. You know, fuck you, Jason Aaron. We need a funny fucking goofy surfer Thor. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, we'll see. I don't. I don't. Anyways. Because right now, Iron Man is fucking Robert Downey Jr. in every fucking comic. He's not written like Mar- Robert Downey Jr. He looks just like him. I don't think so. I disagree. Mm-hmm. I disagree. Tony Stark's pretty much has always looked the same. You know? He doesn't look like Robert Downey. Robert Downey looks like Tony Stark. <laughs> Such a fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Um, all right, so we'll see. I mean, I'm assuming that acquisition is going to take place sooner than later if it does happen. Yeah, now that it's been leaked, probably. Absolutely. I, I hope it doesn't. Do I really? Disney's just... You know what it is? It's like, it's like Wall Street. It gets too big to fail. Could you imagine if Disney like, got to a point where like... It's impossible because Disney's quality... You are sucking that dick hard right now, dude. Disney's amazing, man. Oh, my God. I wish they would take over. They don't slam dunk everything. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. I mean, Star Wars was not that good, but... I actually... I, I thought I liked Force Awakens, but yeah. It's in my top three. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Whatever. Anyways, uh, we're seeing Justice League a week from Thursday. On the 17th, 10 o'clock. A week from Thursday? I thought it was this Thursday. No, it's a week from Thursday. It's this week. It's this week? Yeah. I'm going tonight. Holy shit. Tonight? Wait, Batsy, you're going tonight to see Justice League? Sneak preview. How did you land that? Sneak preview. How did you land that? They posted it on their Instagram. Who's they? Justice League, the movie itself. Justice League, the movie itself, posted on Instagram a sneak preview. And what did you do? Aventura. Signed on, zip code, found it at Aventura, claimed two passes. For free? Yes, sir. Where'd you put it? You have two passes. Who are you going with? My friend Eric. Who's Eric? I don't know. Who's Eric? Where'd you put the paper? Back there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Batsy, you're going to see Justice League tonight? You whore. Yes, thank you very much. If you tell us about it, we will kill you. I won't. You know I never spoil anything. 
Oh my god. So I guess we're watching it on Thursday? Oh my god, he's going so early. Is it this Thursday? Is it this Thursday? The 17th? Is this Thursday? That means Punisher comes out Thursday. No. It is Thursday. Punisher comes out this week too and Justice League. We have not. We could have talked about a lot more today. Oh my god. We botched this, guys. Oh my god. So I next Monday, our Thursday. review of Justice League of Justice and League. hopefully some Punisher. We'll do a separate show for Punisher. Okay, fair all enough. Right, but, all right, so here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. You want to watch Justice League with us this Thursday, 10 o'clock, Regal West Fork Plaza. Uh, we're doing the 3D version because if you get two tickets, you get a free unmasked pop figure, apparently. We'll see if that's for real or not. Um, fuck, Justice League is this Thursday. I had no idea. Uh, we'll see what happens with Fox and uh, Disney. And uh, you got anything else to say? Come out to the movie with us. Buy me some popcorn. I can't believe Justice League is on Thursday. Justice League's on Thursday. Oh my! I knew it was we lost track of, time, track of time. I didn't know. It was Bad wait, seat. wait, wait! That means next week is Thanksgiving. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Next week is Thanksgiving. What the fuck? <laughs> We're all gonna die. We're dying. Yeah. Time is flying. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, wait. Isn't Thanksgiving supposed to be the last Thursday of the month? Thursday. Oh, the fourth Thursday. And there's five Thursdays this month. Oh, my God. My. Ugh. I, I can't. Thanksgiving's next. Black Friday's next Friday. I need to fucking figure out what we're selling. We don't, oh, my God. That's oh right. Oh, my God. You're working. <laughs> Uh, what? Oh yeah, no, I can't work. You're working, dude. I can't work Thursday. You're, yeah, I know you're off Thursday because you, are we closed on Thursday? I don't know if we're gonna be closed on Thursday yet. Everyone else is open. Well, have fun working by yourself on Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. Holy shit! Oh I'm my god! I'm gonna be eating with my family. Wow. Well, some some pork con grease. So, yeah, some pork con grease. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that shit, you want some? That's no, not delicious. at all, dude. I didn't need that shit. That should have kill you, dude. Hey, we could always do, like, I'll see what we're happening. We could do a little, like, Corka Thanksgiving. We could do a Corka Thanksgiving. The, uh, yeah. Some Corka Thanksgiving. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. let you guys know on Monday. All right. Uh, for Atomic Pop featuring, oh, before I forget, forget that, so, uh, um, uh, subscribe to our channel. Please, uh, if you're watching, um, and tell your friends and family about it. Spread the word. Get radioactive. Sorry, that was fucking lame. <laughs> Are you going to do that impression, the Imagine Dragons song? No, I hate that song. It's a pretty good song. Uh, sing it. Sing it. No, no. the, the Radioactive. Uh, radioactive, huh? Sing it. Go, how, gonna, how's it go? I'm not, gonna, I'm not a singer, man. I'm not doing it. I hate that song. Uh, I'm not doing it. Anyways, <laughs> so... All right, so subscribe to our channel. Come check us out at the store. We're on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU in Miami, and we're on Pines Boulevard just east of University Drive in Pembroke Pines. Uh, like our Facebook, like our uh, Instagram, like our follow our Twitter, all that good stuff. Uh, for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. Later. We out.